Joining us now via Zoom is the President, Association of Resident Doctors, Dr. Anua Ibe Arthur. Hello, Doctor. Good evening to you. Hello, Dr. Arthur. Good evening to you. Good evening, thank you. All right, are you with us now? Yes, I'm with you. All right, Doctor. So um, you heard about the resident doctors and their decisions to embark on a one-week warning strike uh, because of the federal government. Uh, they claim that the federal government hasn't reached out or made any significant move while the first ultimatum lasted. So let's get your thoughts on this, your take. Thank you very much for the question. Um, we understand that the Krishna President of the Nation of Africa and the community was issued by May and April 29th. And the two weeks of meeting was actually given following that national executive council meeting. I understand that there are peculiarities to this the issue of the brain drain and the mobile suit by Honorable Danny Johnson. Um, like you were just coming up, some persons in some quarters are taking against it now. The peculiarity of this particular situation is something that is not acceptable, meaning that we have a lot of medical students. Okay, take for instance a student that stays in medical school and spends 10 years in medical school, and the same person you'll make bond for five years, maybe the person has spent 15 years of his life um, going through training. Now, what is actually going to scare a lot of people from getting into the medical um, specialty, and that will cause a lot of brain drain to act in. So we understand what has happened and what the resident doctors want and how to go about this same thing. The issue of remuneration is very pertinent. If you want to tackle brain drain, I think it's also important that you should also tackle the remuneration of the resident doctors. What are the push and pull factors? This has to be put into consideration. The working environment is also something that is not acceptable. We are all making, we are all patients in this hospital. The first point of call for each and every one of us as doctors is still the same hospital that we utilize. We do not have the advantage that some of the other politicians have for applying about medical treatment. We all have our relatives in this country, so we want a system that will work so we can remain in the country. Someone like me, I'm here, I've been working here and I've graduated since 2014, and I've been working as a doctor while some of my contemporaries are overseas. Sometimes when they see you working in Nigeria, they, they tend to say, what's wrong with you, boy? What are you doing in Nigeria? So it's not as if we don't want to be here, but we need a conducive working environment that will enable us to discharge our duties. And it is to the betterment of the public that we want the health system to work effectively. If you also consider the budget allocation, 5.7% was allocated for 2023 budget as against 15%, which is supposed to be the budget declaration in 2011. This has not been practiced. So we are all asking for a good working environment and a good health care system. All right. So uh, speaking about demand now, um, the anti-brain drain bill currently before the National Assembly is also um, the resident doctors are also demanding that that is uh, thrown out. So let's hear your thoughts on that. Yes, like we, we earlier said, the brain drain bill is inconceivable, reprehensible, unacceptable. There are other modalities. We we heard. Um, the Minister for Labor, Dr. Peyton, we talk about it. And there are other ways that you can bond the doctor. The medical school training is not like the um, other regular students. Take for instance, if Ashley goes on strike, other students will come back and they make them to write exams. The medical school is not that way. You have to spend the number of days. I, for one, I spent seven years in medical school just because of Ashley's strike. And at the point, Ebola came in and we could not write exams. Not like the other regular students who graduate four years or five years. Do you understand? So if you want to make medical students, you want to bond them, you are going to spend a lot of years. Maybe you spend 10 years in medical school and somebody is asking you to be bonded and stay in the country without a permanent license. Okay, what is the practicing license that these persons that you are preventing from having there? How do they practice? If you want to say that in five, they have to spend five years within the country before they leave. I, th I tell you as a fact, most of the doctors that have that have stayed more than five years, like I for one, I spent more than five years and I've ten years and counting. So you mean I should leave the country because I've spent five years? That is not a way to tackle the situation. Like the honorable minister has said, um, you don't kill an ant with a sledgehammer. Let's look for modalities to bond the doctors. 
make a working environment conducive, and they are going to stay. The demand that the resident doctors made are asking for 200% increment in the um, salary. It's as a result of some of these factors, the exchange rate, the inflation in the country, all these factors, the salary nine years ago and the salary now is not the same thing. The commerce um, medical, consolidated medical salary structure that was built in 2009, it was implemented in 2014. So if you want these doctors to stay in the country, I think we also have to tackle their wages as well as all the push or the pull factor that will make them stay in the country. All right, so uh, some would say that the back and forth that has been going on now uh, for a while now between the resident doctors and the federal government is embarrassing. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's embarrassing for the country, for Nigeria? Yes, it's embarrassing for the country, I agree with you. Um, but I think we have to get it right someday. Same with the political atmosphere. A lot of things in the country is embarrassing. And this is not an exemption. We believe that with the right tool in place, all this is going to be a thing of the past. And we recall and we look back and say we have started on the good footing. Um, the strike is not for the administration. Even if the administration has one day to go in office, I think that the incoming president will also have to take a look at it and deal with it decisively to make sure that the healthcare system is given every advantage that it has. Health, education, defense are the major factors and major ministries that any country that is serious will have to look into, including information technology. So I believe that this is also embarrassing, that we have to put a stop to it and make sure that our health system is working. You need health, I need health. A healthy nation is a wealthy nation, and I believe that we should work in that direction. All right, uh, Dr. Arthur, what's the stand um, with the strike now for the resident doctors? Uh, are we still going to witness the strike? Yes. The, there was an emergency meeting that was held yesterday. Um, all the centers across the country, both state and federal, and uh, some private institutions were part of that meeting. And it was agreed that strikes should commence Wednesday, 8 a.m. The reason for giving this time is to allow the resident doctors to come back to the first year, various hospital and hand over their patients to the consultants who are under the Medical and Dental Consultant Association of Nigeria, that's MD time. So the consultants may still be working, but the resident doctors and the health officers are not going to be at work. However, we know that resident doctors have the highest um, amount of workforce, and then most of the jobs are done by the resident doctors who are in training at various levels. We have the register and the senior register, and these files have the designation and DT. So the strike is going to commence 8 p.m. tomorrow morning. And um, for us here in the of Protocol Teaching Hospital, we are also going to be part of that strike. And we have directed um, our strike monitoring committee to go around the hospital and determine um, if they are going to catch anybody because they are going to pay fine if they default. So I, uh, we suppose that this is an indefinite strike, right? No, it's not an indefinite strike. It's just okay. a, um, one week. It's five days It's going to expire on Monday morning, 6 a.m. Okay. All right, then. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Dr. Arthur, for joining us on News Now tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, then. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.